Well, when you ask Kyle Thomas, what's your sign? You're going to get a much more complicated answer than most. That's because he's a celebrity astrologer who guides some of the biggest names in Hollywood when it comes to their love life, real estate deals, and contracts. In this week's job with Jamie, mark your calendar. Thomas is predicting a day that will be positive for everyone. Where are we today? We are in Cafe Solar de Cahuenga. The cafe sits at the very busy intersection of Franklin and Cahuenga. The thing that I think is really beautiful about it is that it's like in the heart of Hollywood, you get a little of every sort of assortment of people. Between the hustle and bustle. Here comes my latte. Yes. Yes. Waiting for that. Thank you so much. Celebrity astrologer Kyle Thomas met me for coffee on a Monday, even though he says it would have been better on Wednesday. And for those who want to be in the know, the luckiest day of the year this year is April 11th. It is. Oh, it's going to be so good. And like everyone's going to feel like this like expansive opportunity. Predictions like that have been Thomas's specialty for decades. I was always the weird kid that like, the first thing I did growing up would ask people, like, what's your sign? He's a Taurus for the record, Aries Rising, and he grew up in Wisconsin, where he always felt a little different. I started studying astrology when I was like eight years old. And eight years old? I was eight years like, old. You knew at eight you were interested in this? Absolutely. Like, I was very fascinated by like myth and psychology and, and humanity and art. Thomas went on to earn two degrees from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, one in psychology and one in English. He says he uses both when doing readings. How do you go from this Midwest kid to now being one of the biggest names in astrology out here in LA? I've always been sort of like divinely guided. And I was trained as an actor. I wrote my first novel when I was 14. I had all sorts of different experiences and I came out here to be a filmmaker. And I, I always felt like I, I could never break through in, in that industry in the way that I wanted. And then suddenly, like, then I'm working with, I'm doing readings for, for celebrities and I'm, and I'm writing and my stuff was going viral. Did anyone else in your family show interest in astrology? Absolutely not. <laughs> Looking at my chart, I know why it happened, but it was very scary going through it as it did. But I'm, again, so, so grateful for it. And I love what I do. Now, Cosmopolitan Magazine, People, Entertainment Weekly, The New York Post, Page Six, Bustle, and The Daily Mail all run Thomas's horoscopes. I like to use astrology not only in a, as a tool to like guide you, but to know that if you take actions at certain times, you're going to get certain things. He's made countless appearances on various YouTube channels. Am I going to get married again? It seems like it's very possible. What? <laughs> what? Yeah! And besides Thomas's own Instagram page, millions of people follow his predictions at at horoscopes and at hora.scopes daily. It's not a science. It is definitely not a science. It's an art form. I think at the base of, of life, life is art. And so if we can find a way to like connect with people or inspire people or even inspire ourselves, then I think that we're making a difference and living in a way that brings beauty to life. Thomas does not believe events are predetermined, but he also will yes. not hold back if someone's chart has rough waters ahead. If I do see something that's challenging, I also want to tell you because if I'm just, you know, spreading rainbows and light all the time and you don't have the information that you need to you know, heal yourself or avoid and sidestep a situation, it can be devastating. It's sort of like the weather, you know, it's like astro weather. So if you know it's gonna be like, like all the rain we've been having in LA, if you know it's gonna rain that day, you're gonna bring an umbrella. To test him out, I had him read my chart. <laughs> Jupiter is the planet of luck and miracles. Okay. It's at the crown of your chart. Oh, so wow. that, it means that you, you, you're supposed to be in the spotlight. One of the most important things in your entire life is is having a partner. Mm -hmm. You love to have a, either a romantic partner or you love to have a best friend or a business associate. Like you always, you tag team very well with people. You're highly emotional. You're <laughs> very, very emotional. Your moon is in your identity in your first house. Okay. As a Leo sun and Sagittarius rising, that might be an understatement. However, Thomas does point out we have all the signs somewhere in our chart, so there's no undateable sign for you singles out there. In fact, Thomas believes the zodiac doesn't separate us, it brings us together. I can hopefully reach people no matter where they are, no matter how old they are, and sort of give them a sense of hope. 
Again, sign that big deal. Ask out that crush. April 11th, mark your calendar. Okay. It's a Tuesday. He has a ton of stuff going on, too, by the way. He's doing a fashion line, and he's collaborating with some musicians, wow. trying to bring astrology into all of it. I, I, he was spot on, right? When he read your horoscope. <laughs> I was over here Highly nodding. emotional, yes. Emotional, but she, she, great at relationships, but you always oh, love to have you. that partner and Doug. Yes. And uh, just fascinating. So is he psychic? No, he's not. Well, I mean, I, he believes everyone has a little psychic ability, sure. but you really, you look at the chart, and as he said, you can't manipulate it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, the chart is the chart. Mm -hmm. um, but what you can do, I like the idea of astro weather. You can prepare for some of the <laughs> things that your chart lays out, right? right? Bring the umbrella if it's yeah. going to be raining. Manifest it then. Exactly. Positivity. Uh, no celeb he didn't give the names of those celebrities, though. Can't. He's like a therapist. He, he keeps everything confidential, but I can tell you there's some big names in there. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All Fascinating. Right.